Good morning from Hamburg, Germany, and welcome back to the Daily Photography Vlogs. Today is day number 30 of our daily videos from here in the city. It's been an absolutely wild ride, and it's been a hell of a blast making these videos and sharing all these incredible photography adventures with you guys. Now, this is also the second last day of the Daily Vlog experiment. If you don't remember, I wanted to finish this uh, inspiring, motivating task on my 35th birthday, which is tomorrow, so we've saved the best to last with the Treppen House fetish and that all starts right now. Let's go. And we are in our first Treppenhaus, and for those who don't speak German, Treppenhaus means staircase. So this is our staircase fetish vlog, which I've been meaning to make for the entire month. And uh, the first one here is a very small space, so I apologize for the echo in the audio. But I've got my tripod set up here looking straight up the tunnel, and it is incredible. The spiral staircase of uh, black and white, just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scene. So I'm very happy with this first shot already. And this building is the Alta. Uh, Alta Uber Post Direction. I'm reading that straight off the door, uh, which I think means like old post office. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but just an absolutely insane, incredible first image. This one is definitely not as cool looking down as it is looking up, so that means we go to the next one. Whoa, 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 before we go, I gotta show you the inside of this building. How awesome is this? I have got to come back here to film another vlog. Look at the inside of this building. Incredible. The Alta Uber Post Direction in Hamburg. Amazing. Okay, next staircase. fifth floor because the shot from this building which is the Esplanada Bow I think is definitely a top down so very different from our first staircase and I'm thinking it's gonna look really cool. Mm -hmm. So for this one, I've had to ditch the tripod and go handheld because I've noticed that when shooting staircases, it's really difficult to get a well-balanced composition from the top looking down with the tripod. So 
because I've got enough light in this staircase, I can just boost my ISO and boost my shutter a bit higher so that I get a nice sharp clean image and only one exposure instead of bracketing with uh, the shadows and the highlights. So what I would normally do is a three shot bracket to try and get a nice blend of the shadows and highlights, but that is usually looking up. When you're looking down, especially in this case, in this staircase, I've got a much more balanced exposure. So I only need the one shot and I can go handheld. And the trick is having a really, really good grip on the camera and uh, getting a nice composition, couple shots off and we're good. Do you see this flickering? If you don't know why that is, then you've got to sign up to my Basics of Videography for Photographers course. Teachable is where it's at. We are in downtown Hamburg, right in the core of the old city. This is the Rathaus, which is the town hall. Beautiful building. That should be a subject for a vlog all on its own. There's some incredible detail. There's even an inner courtyard that's open to the public. Really cool place. But from here, for Treppenhaus, the staircases, it's basically whichever building you want. There are some incredible, old, beautiful buildings here with like marble hallways, marble staircases. And I've seen a number of photos online of some of these beautiful staircases. And for this video, there's one more that I wanted to shoot, but it's actually really similar to the last one that we just did, the Esplanade Bow. So I'm going to save it for last and try and see if we can sneak in one more staircase into this video because I think that there's a, a good option to kind of shake things up a bit. So let's go check that one out right now. buildings but I think that this is a very interesting staircase it's different from the uh, the ones that we've shot before because there's one angle that is uh, straight it's like a 90 degree side of the uh, staircase and I think that that can make it look possibly much better from the top looking down than it does from the bottom looking up so I think that I'll finally be able to utilize my tripod from the top and put the uh, that flat edge on the bottom part of the frame of the composition and I think we'll get a really really cool looking shot Going to the very top. Boom. Okay, I'm starting to think handheld is better. Again, I sort of leaned over this uh, this flat part of the railing and got a much nicer shot in my opinion. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If the handheld sort of leaning over and getting that whole staircase kind of more in the center of the frame is better than utilizing the tripod right on the edge of the railing. Personally, I think it is, but then you're handheld. So you gotta make sure that you have a great grip on your camera because if you drop that thing, not only will you definitely destroy your camera, but you might hurt the property 
party or somebody else, and that's terrible. So you gotta be really careful when you're leaning over the edge to shoot uh, staircases. I think that obviously utilizing your tripod is the safer way to go about it, but if you are doing this, just make sure you take it really slowly and that you're absolutely 100% sure that you can get the photo and get back without endangering yourself or others. So that's my uh, pro tip there, is that handheld is probably better than with the tripod, but uh, you gotta be really careful. And here is our final location of the Treppen House fetish vlog. And from entering this building, it really doesn't look like anything at all. It's actually quite a small little lobby here. Kind of looks really futuristic and all metal and gray, but really where the image is, once again, is up here. Okay, very cool. This last one in the Versman house is definitely more futuristic and like kind of sci-fi and very much not a staircase. So uh, that's actually two now that haven't really been staircases, more of like big holes in the uh, buildings. But I think you get my point. Like there are a ton of really intricate and cool staircases in Hamburg and we have already shot two other ones on the daily vlogs. So I'm thinking that I must go on a bit of a journey and try and pick out some of the best staircases in Hamburg because I bet there are probably at least 20 really unique, amazing old staircases in these beautiful buildings. And they're seemingly open. I mean, they seem open to the public during the week. So I'm just coming in here, getting a couple shots. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Uh, if I am, please let me know in the comments below. But from what I understand, you can come in here and get a couple photos and they look amazing. So why not? So this is Versman House and those photos are incredible. I really, really like the one with the red door, which is actually just right underneath me here. But I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments below, which is your favorite photo of these four different staircase photos, even though two of them weren't really effectively staircases, but you get the point in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing those there. As always, thank you so much for watching the daily vlogs. Tomorrow is the last one. It is my 35th birthday tomorrow, so I hope I'll see you on that final vlog. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next one, which drops tomorrow. Thank you.